what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me Kellen for another fragrance video. So today I wanted to take a look at 10 fantastic fragrances for the summer. The summer is in full effect. The weather outside is beautiful. Um, these are fragrances that I really associate with the summertime and more so socializing in the summertime, being around people, being at a party, being down the shore, whether that's what you like to do or it's a, a backyard barbecue in the summer or a beach day club, you know, definitely going down the shore and, you know, party with my friends is something I love to do in the summertime too. So these are 10 fragrances that I think are perfect for that or even a vacation setting. Um, so I picked these out and I'm going to share them with you today before we get started in this video. Um, if it's your first time here and you enjoy the type of fragrance reviews that I make, make sure to subscribe to support the channel. Check out my Instagram page if you want to see photos of fragrances from my collection, um, news and updates on the channel, and of course, Scent of the Day stories. If you have a TikTok and you want to see something unfragrance related, it's something, another hobby of mine, which is the champagne. You can check that out. That's Sabro88. And then, of course, like I've been saying, guys, in many videos, check out my Mercari page. If you're looking to purchase fragrances that you've seen in my videos or things that are hard to find or stuff that you're interested in that you just can't get, I post a lot of stuff on there that you know I'm just no longer wearing anymore and I would rather somebody else enjoy it, take it off my hands, make room for new things and just kind of thin the collection in general. Uh, a younger guy reached out to me on Instagram the other day asking for some fragrance um, you know, purchase advice and he looked at my Mercari page and he got three classics and it's great to see somebody younger taking an interest in the classic fragrances like I do too. That's really cool and, and nice to, um, you know, to share those. So I'm excited to uh, see how he thinks of them. They should arrive at some point next week. But anyway, let's jump into this fragrance list and check out these 10 summer smash fragrances. Okay, fragrance number one. This is going to be a nod to a fellow YouTube reviewer. You guys can probably guess who it is. It is none other than Mr. Smelly, my friend over in the UK, Dan and his company, Naughton & Wilson, came out with a Bon Vivior in 2021. It was the second fragrance of these. I really like this one. It's got like this fizzy citrus and gin scent, especially in the opening. And it just, you know, reminds me of having a summer drink outside, you know, warm weather, very uplifting. And it's got like a the citrus freshness with a little bit of that vetiver muskiness at the same time. Um, gin is actually a note, you know, it's a really nice bottle, nice presentation. And Dan, of course, loves the classics. And I think this one, um, of the ones that I've tried, I haven't tried Gravitas Essentia. That seems to be like maybe a fresher version of the original. That one sounds interesting. I got to get my nose on it eventually. But uh, this one, and you know, he sent me this bottle and I, I have used quite a bit of it um, back when it first came out. He, he mailed it to me, which again, very grateful for. Love this one. Perfect summer fragrance. Definitely um, in line with some of the other classics, but it has its own twist on it. And it's again, fizzy citrus, gin, and vetiver combo. Excellent scent. Perfect for the summer. Okay, coming up next is a fragrance from the House of Aramis. It is Aramis New West. This is such a unique scent. I sprayed some in the cap here. I'm going to do it again. Um, you can see the distribution. Decent sprayer. This is from the Aramis Gentleman's line. So I think it was discontinued. I'm not sure. Um, it's becoming a little bit more hard to find. This is, uh, aside from the original Aramis, this is the only one I have left. I just recently sold off Tuscany. That's a good one. But um, again, thinning the collection. This one, though, I absolutely love. Um, it's such a unique scent. Again, it, it gives you that like fresh marine sea breeze air mixed with the 80s fougere style. It's, it's a clash of muskiness. And, and freshness at the same time. Button down shirt on a yacht meets pine and oak moss family. Like that's the best way to describe it. Lasts a long time on my skin. It's funny because it says skin scent. You can see that there. This is the reformulation too. The other one, the original one, I never tried it. The vintage version um, has a different type of bottle, but I really enjoy this one and I have no problems with performance too. So check it out. This is probably a little bit more of a rougher one uh, for the summer, but I think it, it's perfect. It's just, you know, very masculine scent and I love the greenness about it. I love the fougere style, but I also love it. Sea, sea mineral, like, you know, uh, mineral note freshness that it has. Great fragrance. Um, definitely check it out if you want something and it's not that expensive, at least when I bought it. Not sure about the prices now that it's been discontinued, if, if that's true. Okay, fragrance number three. Um, this is from the house of Isimiyaki. This is Lodisi Pour Ohm. Um, 1994, this is a woody aquatic scent. This is distinct yuzu and citrus, and it's mixed with a white floral and, you know, um, a, and a little bit of light woodsy musk. This is a perfect summer scent, perfect for summer scenarios. Very fresh, very clean. It's like the gateway to Aqua de Joe. Aqua de Joe came out and obviously 
just you know went off into infinity in terms of its famousness but this one should not be forgotten about this is a very nice it's frosty glass look how much of that i've worn if you're interested in knowing more about this fragrance just check out my individual review i did it pretty recently um, but this is a perfect summer scent so clean so easy to wear really like the the citrus this is one of the first fragrances apparently to use the yuzu note um, and it's not that expensive either and you can get the whole body line as well so definitely check out for the summertime lodisiporum Okay, fragrance number four coming straight out of the drugstores in Italy. It is Malizia Uomo Vetiver from the House of Mirato. So this is like the drugstore Dunhill edition. It's simply put, it's woods in vetiver. When I smell this fragrance, it just makes me want to go outside. It's a great scent. It's fresher. Um, some people might not like the woodiness of it. I love it. It's, it's not, you know, a super heavy performer, but it's so cheap. You can spray as much of it on as you want. This is the older formulation. The first bottle I had that I killed was the current formulation. They're both good. This may last a little bit longer, but either way, it's such a clean. If you like clean, non-earthy vetiver, this is a great, great, great fragrance. Definitely check it out. Um, you can get an aftershave. They have the body spray. Apparently, I don't even own the body spray, but apparently that is very long lasting and sought after. That um, high end, I would say high end fragrance store chain in Canada that I've communicated with and talked about a couple times, Le Parfumé, they actually gifted me this one when I ordered something else too. So thank you to them. I've, I've saved this, uh, some of it because of how much I like it. Um, but you know, summertime is when I wore it and I put a big dent in it last summer too. So check them out. They always have this and they get the body sprays, but they're the ones that told me the body sprays are very popular. So again, Milizia Womo Vetiver by the house of Murato. Simple, simple, clean, perfect summertime fragrance for the outside. All right. The fifth fragrance on this list, we're going to go high end here. This is from the niche house of Creed. This is Millicene Imperial. So a 1995 release from the house of of Creed. You guys know Creed. Famous house, niche house. All they make is fragrances. They have a ton of them. Um, I have a few. I'm a Creed fan, but not like a ridiculous Creed fan. I have, uh, let's see, of course, Aventus, Bois de Portugal, and this is my newest addition too. So Creed Millicene Imperial. This is the newer version. I love the gold bottle. That's half the reason why I bought it. You guys know I like gold. So you spray this on. Man, it's such a high-end scent. And I said this in my individual review that I made of this, so go check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, this reminds me of walking into a high-end boutique clothing store or you know any sort of high-end store in a tropical setting on vacation, a resort, a um, place like Barbados. And, and that place has its own fragrance, right? And the fragrance is mixing with the marine sea air and it's very fresh and you remember that fragrance. You remember it distinctly because it smells high end. You're in an expensive place, you're on vacation and you're thinking to yourself, wow, I want to buy the cologne that this store sells. And that store has one fragrance and they just pump it through the, uh, you know, the vent. So that's what you smell. That's what this reminds me of. It's just like a high end scent. I don't necessarily get that salted melon thing that everybody talks about, but that's just me personally. It's, it's a pleasant scent. Not too, you know, not too complex, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's perfect for the summertime. And I think if you're going out, you want to celebrate, you're having some drinks, you and your friends are, are having a good time, you're going to nice, nice dinner in the sum, summer, or you're at some nice party. This is a perfect fragrance to wear. It won't be overbearing. Awesome choice. And I really like it. I'm happy to have this one. Okay, fragrance number six. The next one here on the list is from the early 2000s. And this is a flanker fragrance to the OG beast mode, beast mode, goat fragrance, Koros. This is Koros Cologne Sport too. So this is a fresher, sportier version of the original fragrance. So Koros came out with Koros Eau de Sport um, in the 80s and I had that and I sold it because it's virtually the same as the regular course. It wasn't that much different. However, this one is like a floral, fresher, lighter version. Um, still has that Boss Beast Mode DNA that makes Koros famous, but it's much, much lighter. Uh, and this lasts, and it's just an eau de cologne. You see that there? It's eau de cologne, but this stuff will smother out other people's fragrances. In the summertime, you're wearing this when you're going to a place like Secrets in Maryland, Ocean City, Maryland. I don't know if you guys have been there or not, but it's like a day club, a beach club. You're shirt off, you're in a crowd at different bars. They have like 10 different bars in just a small area um, where you can go into the water. There's a DJ blaring music. That's when I would wear something like this because it lasts. And it get, if you're going to be up close with people, they get the muskiness in there, but it's also the fl fresh florals. Koros Cologne Sport. I, I, this is awesome. I wish I had more of it. Um, I've had the Summer Flankers. I had Tattoo Edition, and I had the um, Koros uh, Cologne Sport Summer Eau de Eti or whatever the hell it's called. I sold those because they're good, but this one is the best. And they see those are a little redundant. However, if you have that one and don't have this one, 
it's kind of the same thing. To me, this one that I think just lasts a lot longer on my skin personally. The other ones, I felt like despite people saying they could smell them, I couldn't smell them. Uh, the performance on all Coros fragrances that I've had are always really good. This one, however, um, is the one that I like the best. And this one is, I'm never going to sell this one. I'm just going to use it. I used so much of it last summer. I did put, put it on. I had to put the brakes on it, but I think I'm going to break it out again. Okay, the next fragrance, fragrance number seven, is from the House of Victor, the Italian house. This is Fresco, so Italian for fresh. This came out in 1981, and then I think it was re-released again in 2000. It's simple. If you like a big lemon scent with some talcum powder mix in there, kind of a lemony, fresh barbershop scent, check this out. Fresco um, is very clean and uplifting and simple, perfect for the summer. It's got that lemon, candied lemon muskiness, um, and it it, you know, unfortunately is going to last about as long as it takes you to finish a drink, but you can always reapply. It's not going to break the bank. It's not that expensive. Um, and it looks just like Aqua de Selva, but not as strong and not as good as Aqua de Selva. That one's a classic, but this one is great for the summertime. This is when I use it and they have a big aftershave as well too. So definitely check this one out if you want like just a classic lemon citrus Italian type of barbershop fragrance for the summertime. That's Fresco by Victor. Okay, the next fragrance, fragrance number eight. This is from 1996, more of a rarity. This is Versace Green Jean. So um, this scent was one that my cousin wore in the early 2000s when I was younger, and I never saw it again until I got this bottle. Um, this is awesome for the summertime. It's like a green tart lemon, citrus and lime with mix of florals. And then there's some pine in there as well too. It's like a fougere citrus mix. It's awesome and it's very masculine. This scent is distinct. Like as soon as I smelled this one, it immediately brought me back to the first time I ever tried it and when I was down um, in Manasquan, New Jersey. That's where my cousins lived at the time. And this was the scent that he wore and it's great. It lasts a long time despite it being kind of a fresher scent. Um, it's green, clean, fresh, very masculine, but great for the summertime too. You, you know, and it's funny because there's blue jeans, uh, there's a bunch of jeans, you know, for men and women, but they discontinued this one. Don't know why, um, you know, it comes in that can here. You can see it's got the, you know, cardboard in it too. I don't know why, but this is one that I'm definitely going to break out. I kind of put this one on the shelf and haven't worn it too much, but the summertime, this is one I definitely want to wear. I don't know of any other body line products for it. Um, just kind of got lost in the shuffle, but I was thinking of what I'm going to make for this list. And this one came to mind and definitely one that I could totally wear in the summertime. You know, you have a nice button down on shirt like this open, you can totally put this in your fragrance rotation for the summer. It's Versace green jeans. If you like green, fresh tart lime with some, um, you know, florals and of course the green notes in there, you'll really like this. Okay, fragrance number nine. This is a summer gem. This one nobody really talks about. I think I've seen maybe one other review on it. I've never made a review on it because I've had it in and out of my collection over the years and I finally got it back. This is from 2007. It is from the House of Crabtree and Evelyn. It is West Indian Lime. So if you guys have seen, there are a lot of companies that make West Indian Lime. There's like one for St. John's and one from True Fit and Hill. And those are all sort of, um, you know, I guess St. John's has that sort of Caribbean look to it. True Fit and Hill is more of like a, a shaving, but um, company sort of barbershop type of thing. Crabtree and Evelyn is, is a lot of things. Soap, they have a lot of fragrances, but they, they ax this one, and I don't know why. I got this for the first time in 2012. A friend of a friend brought this with him and left it at the beach house that I was staying at uh, that we had for the summer. And this is when I was only wearing Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal, and I ran out of that. And I had just graduated college, so I wasn't looking to go buy another bottle of cologne. I would have if I didn't have a choice, but he left it here at the, at the house, excuse me. And I was like, oh, I'll just, just wear this because it was there. And I'm like, wow, this stuff is awesome. It is my scent of the day. Um, so I'll spray some on here. Simply put, it's lime and vetiver with a little bit of woods, but it's so clean. It smells so fresh and it's an eau de cologne. As you can see, it says cologne there in the bottom right there but it lasts a long time, especially on clothes. They have a shaving cream and an aftershave balm. That's what I have on. Gives your skin a nice shine. Smells so good. Perfect for the summertime, for outdoors, white button down and shorts, um, you know, at the shore or vacation, cruise, doesn't matter. Crabtree and Evelyn's West Indian Lime is awesome. I got it again in 2017 and I killed that bottle. And then I didn't see it for years. And the other day I was looking on Mercari and there it was, so I bought it. It was like, you know, partial bottle, no cap, no box, but that's okay. I just wanted to have it again so I could talk about it. This is definitely one um, that I loved. I haven't tried any of their other fragrances, but you know, there's body wash. They make all the body line stuff for it, except for an aftershave splash, unfortunately. But Crabtree and Evelyn West Indian Lime is amazing. And I think the best smelling West Indian Lime named fragrance I've ever smelled. 
Okay, and finally, the last fragrance on this list, fragrance number 10. This fragrance is the be all end all when you think of living the good life and the name says it all. This is Good Life from the House of Davidoff here. You can see that bottle, pretty cool there with the signature. Uh, Davidoff Good Life is the perfect summer scent. All of these are fragrances that I've talked about are perfect. This is of course in no particular order, but if you're thinking of something that comes to mind when you are thinking about the summer outdoors, having fun, it's Davidoff Good Life. This stuff is green, melon, fig. It's so uplifting and so clean and fresh. I love to wear this stuff. Last year down at the shore, I had was down there uh, for a week with my girlfriend and we did something every single day and Good Life was the only scent that I took and I killed the bottle. So of course I got more this year. And you know, I just have great memories um, at, for that week with the uh, fragrance Good Life. And I remember initially I wasn't super impressed with Good Life, but then I tried it and once you have it on your skin, once it kind of develops, it smells so good. The melon note, which typically isn't something that I'd seek after, is really nice in this fragrance, along with it, just a great green, clean scent. Um, it's definitely a compliment getter. Of course, it's discontinued. Why would Davidoff keep this great one and continue to make Zeno? You know, it blows my mind. I, I don't know. But this is something that, you know, if you are celebrating in the summertime, you're in a social event in the summer, you're having a great time, you're with your friends, Breaking out the champagne, you're gonna break out Good Life to wear. This is an awesome fragrance. Performance is decent too, but it does definitely last more on clothing. I did do a full review about this one last year, so go check that out. You can dig through the videos to find it, but this is an awesome scent. It's from 1998. This is the one that comes to mind when you think about having fun in the summer. Davidoff Good Life hits the nail right on the head. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for me. That is my list of 10 fragrances for you guys to use this summer, summer 2023. Please let me know in the comments section what you think about the list. Do you like all these fragrances? Which ones would you have picked? What's your favorite summer fragrance? Uh, please put that in the comment section. You guys know I always appreciate all of the interaction. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. Check out the Instagram page. Check out the Mercari page and the TikTok if you'd like. And thank you all so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.